Applecross residents have made a last-ditch effort to stop fast food giant McDonald's opening a store on a residential street. It's the latest chapter in a David and Goliath battle, but residents say they're refusing to give in. The Applecross community's final cry in a battle with a global fast food giant. Do you think we're doing the right thing? Yes! It's about our community saying no to McDonald's. We don't want you here. It's unanimous. McDonald's wants to move their restaurant from Canning Highway and Sleet Road in Applecross, 400 metres away to the corner of Reynolds Road, a residential street. It's going to be huge. It's two storey. We actually call it the Macasaurus because it's absolutely huge. And it's going to be going 24 hours a day, seven days a week, right next to people's homes. McDonald's initial proposal was rejected by the City of Melville and planning officials. But they appealed. Another hearing will go before the State Administrative Tribunal this week. They've come this far, they're not going to stop now and they're not threatened at all by the money of McDonald's or the will of, of, of that company to uh, impose upon this community a development which is pretty much inappropriate. It's not the food these protesters are worried about. I'm here as the member for Applecross and uh, we have concerns about the level of traffic that will be turned into the local community. There's a World War II veteran who's going to have 2,000 headlights staring in his bedroom window every night of the year if the development's accepted. The appeal hearing starts on Wednesday and by Friday these residents should have their answer. It's a classic David versus Goliath, but they may have the money and the slick solicitors, but what we've got is people power and hopefully justice will prevail. Kelly Williams, Nine News.